so we are in our jazz unit, and the first most basic thing in the jazz unit are jazz walks. So, for jazz walks, you're going to be in the position called forced arch. What that means is on your releve, so on your tippy toes, but then with the plie also. So what's happening is the arch of your foot is being forced over, forced arch. Um, so, keeping that position the whole time, you step out to the side, then you cross in front. Step out, cross in front. Same thing going the other way. Step out, cross in front. Step out, cross in front. Um, to make it more interesting, more fun to watch, and more fun to perform, uh, two things to keep in mind. One, your head should stay even. So pretend like you're carrying a bowl of water and you can't spill a drop of it. So you really want your head to be smooth, as you go across, rather than a bouncy movement like this. In addition, this move requires hip motion. So when we do those hip rolls in isolations, this is where that comes into play. So as you step out, jut your hip out to the side. When you step across, hip to the other side. Hip, hip, right? Uh, whatever foot is stepping, that's the hip that should be going out. So, if you were to do jazz walks across the floor, it should look something like this. Step, cross, step, cross, step, cross. Um, the more personality you put into it, the better. So, feel free to move your arms around however you want, um, and just exude that confidence. The last thing is, bigger steps are generally better. You don't want to jump across the floor, but you also don't want to have little, tiny steps. One, it's going to take you forever to get across the floor. And two, little tiny steps don't look very confident and they're not very fun to watch. So try to make your steps really big so that you can travel more quickly and you look more confident on stage. So that's jazz walks.